We just finished painting the first coat and the color is Fair Maiden so it's a super pale kind of white pink and then over here I just painted my shabby chic mirror which it it hasn't been shabby chic yet but I'm gonna scuff it up after oh, I have to clean up the paint around the edges here after that dries probably paint it a second coat and then we'll scuff up the edges and uh, Michael's putting on the second coat there it is, it's evening time, it's getting late. I'm cleaning up my mirror that I painted earlier. And a quick tip to remove, like, um, I have some paint along the mirror here because it's too ornate to tape it. Uh, instead of that, don't worry about any marks you get on a mirror. I make a remover. We'll take that paint right off the mirror. And look at this. I love that bubblegum pink with the Fair Maiden. That was Michael's idea. Okay, now that it's all perfect and painted, it's time to mess it up with some sandpaper. Project Shabby Chic Mirror Phase 2. This is the stand. Um, because my mirror is not going on the wall, it's going to be on a little stand on my makeup vanity. And the stand is finished. So it's super easy to get a kind of shabby chic look on a piece of new, you know, any kind of metal work. Um, so since the stand was already a dark um, kind of look, I just wanted to paint over with the Fair Maiden, same color as my mirror, and just paint over like really loosely and kind of messily, and that gets the shabby chic look super easy, so it looks more old and worn as opposed to new and perfect. Now I'm ready to paint the details. So these are going to go by the mirror, I think. Um, this will probably hang right in the front. I'm not sure which way yet. Probably this way. First coat's done, I'm going to let this dry and probably come back and do a second coat. So this is currently what the trim looks like here, but now I have my fancy trim, so that is going to go right like that. And the glue that I'm using is E6000, all purpose, I use this in my jewelry too. Right, so just like that, it's up, super fast and easy. This stuff is really handy. Now one thing I do want to mention is... Um, if you're doing it on wood, if you're using this on wood, you do have to be careful and make sure you get a good thick coat on the back because wood is porous. If you're doing it on metal, you want to use a thin coat. Now with this, it's it's pretty well stuck and it's only been like two minutes and I was just kind of holding it up and just kind of pressing making sure it's set. Now for these pieces, I'm going to put these right up here, I think. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Alright, I'm ready to place the second one. Um, now, I don't have my camera set up on its tripod, so I couldn't show you exactly, you know, applying the glue, but there are no tricks to this at all. I just have the tube of glue, I apply it directly from the tube onto the back of this, um, just where I need it, and I'm just placing it and holding it and pressing it for a couple minutes uh, while it sets. I picked these up at Pier 1, and they were $8 each. Now, in here... I wasn't happy with that, um, those little green beads. I don't think that it fits in very well, especially with the theme of my room. So at Forever 21, I picked up some earrings. And I'm going to clip off the back, and we're going to glue those to the center instead. All right, so I've just carefully clipped off these little pea green beads that I didn't like. So I clipped them out of the center here, and I'm going to place the new piece that I want in the center. So first off, I'm just going to start by clipping off the back. These are my jewelry nippers. Just going to cut that little earring post right off. So it's fairly smooth. I'm going to take my glue. This is E6000. I'm just going to put that directly from the tube right onto the back. Now if you're doing a smaller project with smaller items, you can go and use a toothpick or any other sort of little tool. 
but since this is a fairly decent sized little earring here, I can just place it directly from the tube onto the back of it. And this glue is really easy to work with. I use it for all kinds of projects. Okay. Now we're going to just place it right in the center and it's just going to glue directly to the fabric. And you want to make sure that you have it upright or whichever way you want it. I think I kind of like it right about like that. Just gently pressing. Alright, so here we have before and after. spray adhesive mm -hmm. on the back panel. So this is our wallpaper. This is the wallpaper I picked out and I got it, uh, let's see, a roll of it for $20 at Lowe's. So I'm super excited to share with you guys how we transformed that basic black entryway piece into a cute little shabby chic jewelry armoire. So I'm just going to start at the top here and kind of go down and show you all the tips that um, we did to transform this. So at the top I just have a couple of my um, little feather vases here. I did a video on those already. Um, up here this is just a uh, candle holder that I got at Pier 1 and then I painted it pink, um, kind of shabby chic, did a little, you know, did some sanding on it and then added a Swarovski crystals to it and it just sits up here on this little fluffy doily. Um, so across here these are just moldings because that wasn't there before. We actually just took um, the glue as I showed you in the video and uh, my E6000 works on like everything. It's just amazing. So I just added some details because there was some screw holes here and I wanted to cover those up so that's why I placed those on the sides there and then uh, just some extra little curly cue detailing there and I really like the one across the front. That one's my favorite. And so then these little um, pieces here, these just hang on little screws and so those I just got at Pier 1 and I just thought it was cute with the little crystal because I really like, you know, kind of like blingy stuff. And as I showed also in the video, it these actually had like these little green, like little, they look like little peas. And I was not, not fond of that look. So instead, I took some Forever 21 earrings and um, clipped off the back and glued those in the center instead. After I removed those other beads. So I'm much happier with that kind of look. And then I just have um, a few of my necklaces hanging up there, and then I like this little cherry pink keychain that I got. I got that at, I think it was like Icing or Claire's, one of those type of stores. So across the back here, this little panel, um, we had originally, we originally just painted, you know, the whole thing was in Fair Maiden. And then I wanted to make that background kind of pop out a little more, so we decided to wallpaper it. Um, so the wallpaper, I'll try to get close here. Um, so it's just kind of a damask style and so you can see. So I really like that. It's still very neutral so it fits in with the colors of my room which are pink. I, I use all different shades of pink. And then cream um, and kind of beige. So I really like how that turned out. And you guys saw in the video how we did that. And then if I move these pillows, so I just like to throw a couple pillows on there because it is like a little seat because I got this cushion and the pillows, this pillow was uh, $5 at Kmart and this was, I can't remember how much it cost, but I got it at Pier 1. I know, I know it was on sale though. They were having like a 20% off sale. And the cushion I also got at Pier 1. So you can flip this up and then it has my little hidden cupboard under here. 
which Michael painted pink for me. Um, like a brighter bubblegum pink. So I just thought that is just like so cute because you have it all neutral out here and then just like this little ray of happy pink, happy bubblegum Barbie pink in here. It just makes me happy to look in there. So I don't really have too much storage going on in, in here yet. Um, hopefully soon. So right now I just have some jewelry tucked in my little jewelry boxes down here. We actually took days, you know, like to... Like, I've been working on this since last week, just whenever we have a little bit of time. Um, so, I don't know what I've already said in the video, but, like, these moldings I got at Lowe's, and they're only a few dollars, and you can really use those. They have all different shapes, and you can, you know, I could, like, go across the side here, which I may do later on, or maybe I'll bring something down the sides here, or even on the inside. I don't know. It's just, decorating is just all about having fun and surrounding yourself with... Um, you know, things that make you happy. So, you know, colors make you happy and, I don't know, cute little things. It just makes you feel good to look at throughout the day. And then over here is my shabby chic mirror that we've been working on, and that was really easy to do. So when I first got the mirror, oh, I should mention it was $25 at Habitat for Humanity, and this was $50. Um, so really good deals. And this, it was a very cool tone white, like almost like a blue white. It was, it was too harsh. I wanted to soften it up, so I decided to just paint it in the same color, uh, Fair Maiden in the Valspar paint. And so after I painted it, I sanded it down again, just on the high points, and that's the easiest way to create a shabby chic look. Um, so you just want to hit it on all the high points, kind of all the way around. And then this is the stand, um, and I, I think you guys already have seen this in the video. Um, so yeah, sits up perfectly. But I do want to show you over here, um, because someone asked when we were doing this video, um, when I, uh, attached that to the wall, it's just on some little command strips there. They asked if I could pull back next time so you could see the whole look over here. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. So it still has, um, the white mirror, which is, it was my favorite. I had a little light pink one too, but that's, um, somewhere else right now. But anyways, I like the look of that. Uh, with this, it matches nicely. My little rose up there. And so that is just right above my trunk there. And my trunk I got at Ross. And my leopard pillow I got at Pier 1. And that pillow is from Target. So that's what that part of my room looks like. So I'm not doing a room tour yet. Um, I do have some things that I want to sort out. Like I've got things on the floor over here I need to take care of, and then over here, that area is changing um, at the sides of my bed here. I'm going to have new nightstands, new nightstands soon, and then after I take care of that, hopefully I'll be able to be ready to do a room tour. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.